It's over. It's finally done. I did it. It is 1.53 in the morning. The video is done. It's probably one of the best things I've ever made. What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's a special video and it's basically kind of like my creative process behind this past weekend when Peter McKinnon announced a 72 hour video challenge. Now, I actually didn't even find out about this until late in the afternoon on Friday. And ever since that moment, I started working on the script immediately. And I kind of started filming my behind the scenes, meaning, you know, kind of like my process that I went through and uh, why I decided to go with the types of shots that I did. Now, I did create a shot list, which was something that I have been kind of learning through this whole process. And um, it actually came in handy. So um, I hope you guys like this video. It's gonna probably gonna go like this. I'm gonna go uh, from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then I'm gonna go ahead and show the video at the very end. And um, I hope you guys like it. afternoon I just barely saw the Peter McKinnon video when we only have 72 hours to shoot edit and submit a video on anything that's under five minutes this is what I've been doing I actually saw this video about an hour and a half ago what I've been doing th this time is writing a script this is how it begins so I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes to see how I made this video in 72 hours. I don't even know what's it about yet, kind of. So, yeah. What's up guys? Okay, so it is Saturday. It has been about 24 hours since the Peter McKinnon uh, 72 hour film challenge. So this is what I've got so far. I got a little bit of the script of what I'm gonna be uh, doing in a voiceover and a couple of shots of me uh, yesterday being on my computer. I was using a combination of uh, my 85 mil on my Canon at 1080 and my DJI Osmo Pocket for a little bit of a wider shot. So that's what we got so far. And uh, as you can see here, this is all I got of the script. There's not really much. So um, we're gonna see how this is gonna come out. And uh, hopefully we can make some decent uh, content here. So, let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, the next things that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, I'm gonna to try to finish off the script first. I already found a perfect song. So that's what I kind of got up early to do this morning to look for a specific type of music that I wanted for my video. And I mean, out of completely luck, I went through some of the websites that I normally use. Actually, I found this one on uh, YouTube itself. 
and it is the perfect song. I think it's gonna go very, very well with my video. So, with that said, let's continue. What's up, guys? So, I already finished doing the voiceover. He actually, I mean, I got it on the first try, but I did it a second one just in case I like some of the lines on the other one better than on my first one. So I did two takes of the voiceover. I think I have all the videos. I think I have all the shots that I need. I'm about to start throwing everything into Premiere Pro and start putting this together. The time is Saturday, 527 in the afternoon. Let's get, let's get working. What's up guys? And it is official. It is official. I have submitted my video for the 72 hour challenge by Mr. Peter McKinnon. I am very, very happy with my video, uh, whether I would do when or not. I can't believe I made a video of that quality in 72 hours, including the edit, which took me all day yesterday. So um, with that said, let's go ahead and watch this video right now. Well, I said right now because I plan to make a video about this video. Makes sense. I'm future proofing this clip. That's right. Let's go ahead and jump to the video. How do I start this? Well, most of the world is still on lockdown. The second wave of the virus has hit. Knowing that millions of people have died made me feel so powerless. What can I do? What can I do? All of a sudden you have so much time with your own thoughts and you start to wonder, can I? make a difference? The answer... The answer is yes. I started doing my own research. I became more educated. That was the key to my survival. There is a lot of misleading news online. How can you tell the BS from the truth? Deciphering this was all part of this game. I became obsessed with the virus. I wanted to help. I wanted to get back to normal. I wanted to... I wanted to defeat it. But how? How? After spending many sleepless nights, it hit me like a slap in the face. I knew what I needed to do to help society. I knew the biggest impact I could make on mankind is simply to disconnect from it so I did
So what now? Are we going to continue to live like this, this way? We can't let the virus win, no way. We must all come together and overcome this problem. And although the world is full of problems right now, now, more than ever, is the best time to come together as one race. The human race. If not, the virus will kill you. It will kill you unless unless we can start acting as one. All right, guys, so that was the video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I really, really learned a lot this weekend. And uh, it was kind of uh, a very surreal experience for two things. One, because I was completely alone uh, this weekend here at the house. So I had a lot of time to think about what I was gonna make and I didn't have very many interruptions. So it was a pure, pure, pure creative flow, a, a, a creative, yeah, I guess flow. Very re like rewarding. I am very, very happy with the final result of this video. And you know, if even if it wins or if it doesn't win, uh, I'm still very proud of myself for being able to actually pull this through. Uh, believe it or not, my regular YouTube videos take me a little bit longer than 72 hours to make from start to finish. I guess for me, working on this project, especially, you know, that it was a, a time sensitive project, it really helped out a lot. I think it gave my uh, creativity a boost and I felt very, very uh, creative throughout this time. So I'm guessing working under pressure for me, I guess kind of, uh, you know, works better. I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it, but, um, in my particular uh, scenario, it, it worked great. So I'm glad you guys liked it. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up, share it so other people can get to see my video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Please make sure to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified when I upload new videos. There is a lot more short films like that one coming up. I'm really still writing that high creative, um, creative flow. So immediately after I finish this Peter McKinnon video, I'm going to start creating another little short film, which is probably going to be coming out sometime next week. So you guys stay, uh, stay tuned for that and subscribe. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Thank you.